Tell us what it's about. So it's, it's based on this real loophole in the American Constitution where you can literally get away with murder in this remote region of Yellowstone National Park. And this is an actual thing. Um, and it's, there's actually like a lawyer that travels around the states like trying to bring awareness to this issue and get an amendment uh, built into the Constitution to fix this, to patch this hole. And so this uh, was a story that was brought to me by my manager. And basically, what's different about it is I'm collaborating with a real documentary filmmaker, Julian, who has experience in that, and exploring this crazy loophole in the American Constitution. I think Julian, like myself, is interested in like doc uh, documentaries, but also kind of exploring that line between documentaries and fiction. You know, there's a, there's, that's become more of a thing like Man on Wire, it's a documentary, mm -hmm. but it also uses, or, or The Imposter, or those yeah, sorts sure. of things. He was like interested in exploring something that was, you know, documentary, but that also was using an interesting way to tell the story. That mm -hmm. wasn't just totally traditionally down the middle of the uh, road. And it does seem quite amazing that this could actually <laughs> yeah. happen. I mean, I mean, could you just mention in brief what exactly the, the loophole is? The way that the Constitution is set up is you have to be judged by a jury of your peers in the district where the crime is committed. And there's a lot of kind of details around this loophole, but the very, very basic principle of it is that this is the smallest district in America because of this sort of overlap of federal land and state land, and because of where it's situated, no one lives there. So if you can not prove premeditation that they intended to do it before they're in this area and it's a total random act of violence, uh, you know, no shovel was bought at a store or okay. something, then, then you literally can't pull a jury because you can't pull a jury. There's no, pop There's population, no population zero. Yeah, exactly, so the title says that, and that's basically the premise. Has anybody actually tried doing this? I mean, well, that's what the film's that's about, what the film's right? About. So people just have to watch and see. It's such a hard film to talk about, yeah, it this, is, isn't yeah. it? Because you don't want to say anything too much, because whatever happens, because if you go in cold watching it, yeah. you, you keep thinking, really? Really? Every documentary has this much truth and this much opinion uh, or this much uh, uh, you know filmmaker influence and there's always a balance I mean it, it goes back and forth some have very little truth some have a lot of truth and so there's always that line that you're walking when you're making documentaries when I went to film school I had a documentary teacher and he was very much like a Puritan like you do not you just you just hang back and tell the story mm -hmm. and I've noticed with it, reality TV and like things recently like it's like we're becoming more and more we're putting more and more of our opinion into these things. Um, it's always been up and down in that, in that regard, but that's what we're trying to explore. Like, where is that line? How, how, how much can you put yourself into the story and start to influence the story? But that's been going back since, I mean, since the Italians yes. did Mondo Cane. I mean, yes, it has. they faked th some of that too, didn't they? I mean, yeah. you know, it wasn't like that, and they, they passed it off as this is the authentic style. It has been going on for a long time. I just think that. Nowadays on TV, I think a lot of, especially younger people, don't realize how much right. of what they consider to be reality is not reality. This film is about that. It's about like how, you know a filmmaker that gets involved in the subject, and then the camera sort of turns on him, and he becomes part of the story. Are you surprised to be ending up in Fright Fest? Do you see it as this sort of audience? I am a little surprised because I guess it's not a traditionally what you would consider a horror film, but neither is uh, neither was estranged. I mean. All films have a mix of genres. They both have horror in them. You know, mm. it's just a matter of how much or how little. I think, in many ways, uh, I like uh, films, and what interests me are films that aren't just like down the middle one genre. They meld those genres. I think that's more interesting. I like it when the, there's not just a plot twist, but there's a genre twist in a film. <laughs>